Hello, friends. Welcome to the Daily Update from the Aspen Daily News. My name is Oliver Sharp. Very excited to be joined by John Anderson, Director of Pharmacy at Aspen Valley Hospital. John, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for being here. Uh, we are a few weeks in now to uh, a very successful, successful vaccination program. Uh, where do we stand this week? How are things looking? So we're going to be doing uh, about 1,170 second doses of the Pfizer. Uh, those are actually arriving at the hospital today, uh, and those will all be done on Thursday. So looking forward to getting almost 1,200 people fully vaccinated with their second dose this week. And how are the numbers looking overall as far as vaccinations uh, as we move through these different phases of people that are getting the injections? Sure. So from the um, clinics that the hospital first did up at ABH um, through what we've been able to accomplish um, with our partners at Pickham County Public Health down at the music tent, we're at a little over 11,300 doses. Um, and last week, we actually crossed the 10,000 dose mark administered just at the music tent. So that was an exciting number to get to last week. And again, it's a reflection of the great partnership that we've got uh, with the folks at Pickin County Public Health, Community Health Services, and, and folks here at the hospital. So nice to cross that 10,000 person threshold. Uh, we have been hearing in the news about some extra doses that were found in some of the vials. Can you explain that? Sure. So, uh, you know, as this process first begun, began back in December, um, some pharmacists on the East Coast quickly identified that there's extra doses in both the Pfizer and Moderna. And so once we receive doses here at the hospital, um, we've been really successful in being able to get, um, you know, six dose out of all the Pfizer. Sometimes we've been able to get seven doses out of an individual vial for Pfizer. And then for Moderna, we've really had a lot of success lately. So we, out of the 1,260 vials that we've had, we've been able to get 1,168 extra doses from those. And so that's about 94% of those vials that we're at least getting one extra dose from, which really just tells you that that's, you know, almost 600 people that we've been able to fully vaccinate um, by taking the time and care to make sure that um, we're treating every drop in uh, every one of those vials um, as gold. That's great news as well. And you mentioned some of the partners that you guys have been working with, and we know this has been a very collaborative effort. Can you talk about the incident management team, the different people involved in that, and how having a permanent incident management team has helped us here in the Roaring Fork Valley? Yeah, so I mean, with Phyllis and Scott, um, Alex Buschetta, Gabe Muthing from here at the hospital, they provided great leadership for the IMT. Um, they were able to set up the site very quickly. We brought that up really quickly. You know, they brought in a building just for the pharmacy folks to work, which, again, really helps with getting those extra doses out of those vials. Um, and it's just been a great partnership um, uh, through the leadership of the IMT uh, to be able to make sure that we're getting as many people vaccinated. Anybody who wants to dose, our goal is to make sure that uh, somebody gets vaccinated. Um, and we're really hoping within the next couple of weeks that uh, the number of vaccines is, is going to continue to increase so that we can um, essentially get anybody um, within Pitkin County who wants to get vaccinated vaccines. And this has been a very fluid situation with regard to the number of vaccines and the type of vaccine received each week. Uh, can you look forward a little bit and see uh, any of the numbers that we might be getting in the coming weeks? Sure. The CDPHE, Colorado Department of Public Health, has really um, done a great job of communicating the number of doses that we're going to have moving forward. So um, just within the next couple of weeks, the total doses available to the state is going to increase by 80 percent. Um, we've placed first order doses for next week of about 2,500. I'm very optimistic that, you know, at a minimum, we're probably going to get 12 to 1,300 and really hoping that we get all 2,500. We've got the demand to meet um, those numbers. And so we're really um, we're really anxious to see what our allocation is for next week. We typically find out first dose allocations on a Sunday. So I think it's important for everyone to understand. Um, we, we turn that information around very quickly. Um, the people on the communications team and the registration teams for the IMT do a great job of getting that information out. So folks can start getting registered on Tuesdays so that when our clinics come on Thursday or Friday of that week, 
we're ready to go, all the doses are spoken for, and then we can rock and roll down at the music tent. And what's the process look like uh, in a few months time when we have met all of the man that there is right now. So we've moved through all the phases that have been allocated. Uh, if people are still unvaccinated, say come spring or summertime, uh, are they gonna be able to just walk into their primary care physician and get a vaccine or how will they get vaccines at a later date? Yeah, I think once this initial demand is met for the IMT, what we're doing down at the music tent, going forward, people will be able to go to you know their local pharmacy, um, potentially their local doctor, primary care clinic, et cetera, to be able to get those. But certainly um, with the demand that we have, we certainly view that the, what we're doing down at the music tent is really getting folks vaccinated much quicker. And then those who have decided to wait a little longer, maybe a little hesitant, um, they can look to, to go to their pharmacy, speak with their pharmacist, go to their primary care clinic, speak to their primary care provider, um, you know, get the reassurance that they may need uh, and then get those doses uh, from those locations. And what recommendations are you and the IMT making to people that even though we are seeing now second doses of vaccines going into arms, uh, that people should be doing as they're out and about in town uh, just to help um, kind of stem the spread of coronavirus? Yeah, so it's not only just through the IMT, it's really from the CDC on down that uh, and CDPHE as well. We're gonna continue to do the social distancing continue to wear the masks, all the things, uh, the, the, the five rights that we promised to do um, going into this. Uh, until everybody is fully vaccinated, we wanna make sure we protect those who are unvaccinated, uh, protect those who are unvaccinated, uh, and so continue to wear the masks, social distance, that sort of stuff. Excellent. Well, John, thank you so much for being here to provide the information. Thanks for all the hard work of you and the team as well. So nice to uh, finally cross that 10,000 person vaccinated um, rate last week as well. Thanks again. Yeah, great number. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks to all of you for joining us here on the Aspen Daily Update. You can find us at aspendailynews.com and across the social media networks. We'll see you next time.